Happy Fourth of July from all of us at CBS3. And I'm praying for her. Tonight, people are looking for answers after tragedy struck a northwest Wisconsin town when three people died in a house fire. And in Florida, residents are preparing for Tropical Storm Elsa as it barrels toward the coast. And we'll tell you the story of a cougar kitten who is getting a second chance at life thanks to a local sanctuary. From CBS3 Duluth, this is the CBS3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. Thanks for joining us. It was a tragic day in Ashland, Wisconsin, where three people lost their lives this morning in a house fire. Flames broke out around 9.30 this morning at a home near 6th Street and 14th Avenue West. That's where CBS3's Abigail Smith spent much of the day, and she joins us with more. That's right, Kristen. When we arrived this afternoon, it was obvious right away that this was a bad fire. Windows were shattered, the house covered in ash and debris. According to the Ashland Police Department, the fire started around 9.30 Monday morning. Authorities also say three people were able to escape the home. One of them is being treated in the hospital for burn injuries. But later, three more people were found dead inside. Very few other details have been made public by police, including names and ages of the people who died. Neighbors described the fire as tragic, saying it was a family who lived in the house. We caught up with one friend of that family who said she saw police and fire trucks rush into the scene, but still hasn't heard who survived and who lost their lives. One of the girls that I know, I worked with her at the um, nursing home. So I'm hoping that all went well for her and will soon. And I'm praying for her. The neighbor says that the scene was terrifying, still no word on the cause of the fire. Because of the fatalities, the Ashland Fire Department told us the case has been handed over to the Wisconsin State Fire Marshal. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. All right, thank you, Abigail. Well, if you've noticed a haze in the sky, you are not alone. Fires near the border of Manitoba and Ontario spent, sent pollutants into the air over the weekend. The cold front carried those particles down toward Minnesota, affecting the whole northern part of the state. The haze affected visibility in Duluth and other areas, and the National Weather Service issued an air quality alert. Experts say the air quality could be a problem for more sensitive groups, but most people shouldn't have any problems. And Dave is joining us now for a first check of the weather. Dave, it sounds like some weather we might be seeing tomorrow could help with that problem. Yeah, and things have already been improving over the past couple of hours. When we last chatted at 6 o'clock, there was also an alert for the Upper Peninsula, but that's since been dropped. It still remains, though, for northern Minnesota. Air quality alert issued by the National Weather Service due to those forest fires all the way through about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, many of our towns could be getting rain, and that rain will wash the sky clear, at least for a little while, although the rain may not push far enough north to put out the fires, as mentioned near the border of Ontario and Manitoba. We take a look at the upper Midwest picture here, and we've got twin lows flanking our area with connecting fronts in between. Hot right now, but cool up to the north, and once that rain comes through, which it'll do tomorrow. It is going to cool down tomorrow, in fact. may only be around 60 degrees for a high temp. 90% chance for the rain in some towns, but not all, could get a good soaking. We'll talk about who's getting what coming up in just a little bit. All right, thanks, Dave. And while we are expecting that rain here at home, folks in Florida are bracing for Tropical Storm Elsa, and officials are calling this the calm before the storm. In a county just north of Tampa, evacuations are underway in flood-prone areas, and a shelter will open tomorrow as Elsa creeps closer. The tropical storm slammed into Cuba tonight with 60 mile per hour winds, dumping up to 10 inches of rain in some areas. In Florida, worried residents bought generators and filled sandbags, anticipating the worst. You never know what happened. You never know what could happen. You know, so just taking all safety precautions so you'll be ready. Elsa is expected to bring strong winds, heavy rain and flooding in the next 24 to 48 hours. Officials say the storm will not impact the condo collapse rescue mission in Surfside, Florida. Well, closer to home, a much different story this 4th of July. You can see in these pictures from Eveleth, fireworks going off as the grass below is burning. On Saturday, firework debris caused dry grass to light up on a hill near an old mine dump. 
Luckily, the Eveleth Fire Department was already on the scene monitoring the show. The fire lasted just 17 minutes. Gilbert and Fail Fire Departments assisted in putting the fire out. Thankfully, no one was hurt and no nearby structures were damaged. With those dry conditions also comes another problem. More bears venturing out of the woods and into people's yards. Those bear sightings in northern Minnesota are sounding the alarm for some wildlife experts. Biologists at Ely's North American Bear Center are concerned there will be more bears that will venture into the Northland's cities and towns. The black bear's main food in the summer are berries and nuts. This time of the year is when berries are most prevalent, but with the abnormally dry conditions, the berries are struggling to grow. Biologist Spencer Peter at the Bear Center is worried more hungry bears will look for easier to find food in people's backyards. Peter says once a bear finds food, it will be hard to get rid of. Make sure there's no extra food. It only takes one feeding for the bear to make the association that there's food in a location, and it will never forget. <laughs> Peter says the easiest way to prevent bears from waddling into town is to make sure your garbage and other enticing objects are put inside. The Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone is caring for a new cougar kitten with a very troubled past. CBS 3's Quinn Gorham paid the sanctuary a visit and got to see what they're doing to help Anastasia recover. Just outside of Sandstone, Minnesota, you'll find a sanctuary home to dozens of wildcats. So Anastasia is a mountain lion, also known as a cougar, and one of our newest residents. But few of them have a story quite like Anastasia's. After being bought as a pet, Anastasia was turned loose at just four months old. And sadly, being captive born, she could not fend for herself. This little girl had been through quite a bit. Eventually, Good Samaritans found her in the wild in Oregon, but she was barely hanging on. When she was found, she was deeply emaciated. She had parasites. She had bite wounds on her body. Her tail was degloved. Uh, an animal had bit her, and she wasn't going to survive much longer. So the Wildcat Sanctuary took Anastasia in just a few months ago. At the time, she weighed just 22 pounds, was extremely dehydrated, and had a large cut on her face. But thanks to hours and hours of medical care, Tammy Thies, founder and director of the sanctuary, says Anastasia is already making a speedy recovery. It was a difficult process to get Anastasia comfortable in her new home. Senior caretaker Elise Donnelly says it wasn't easy gaining her trust. With Anastasia, she came in, I kind of just slowly worked with, hey, come on over here, I'm just asking you, you to see you, how are you doing, how are you healing, giving her food and enrichment so that she could learn that we're not scary. Once Anastasia recuperates, she'll be introduced to other cats, moved into a more spacious enclosure and given a better life. Anastasia's story, a true testament to the Wildcat Sanctuary's mission. <laughs> We want the wild to stay wild, and so nobody should be buying wildlife as pets, and nobody should be taking wildlife out of the wild. You can follow Anastasia's recovery on the Wildcat Sanctuary's website or any of their social media pages. Well, in Wisconsin, a new study estimates the wolf's population dropped by up to one-third in the months after federal protections were lifted. University of Wisconsin scientists found people killed about 100 wolves in addition to the 218 taken during a February hunting season. Researchers say many of those non-hunting deaths resulted from poaching. Findings suggest it would be risky to have another wolf hunt this fall, although state officials are still planning one. Well, here's a live look at Duluth's Harbor tonight, where a celebration was held earlier today as Senator Amy Klobuchar toured the U.S. Coast Guard Alder, thanking crews and saying goodbye to a ship well served. Having served Lake Superior for nearly 17 years, the Alder will be replaced by the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Spar early next year. Klobuchar's visit with the Coast Guard focused on thanking the crew members and bidding farewell to a boat well accustomed to Duluth's ports. Very honored to have her here uh, to bid Coast Guard Cutter Alder a farewell and looking forward to bringing Coast Guard Cutter Spar back onto the lakes as the new member of the fleet. The lieutenant commander hopes the people of Duluth will see their appreciated contribution to the national security mission. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, the most recent jobs report showed improvement in the workforce and experts say teenagers could be the reason why. We'll tell you all about it after the break.
High temp hit 90 again in Duluth, but that'll be the last time for a while. Drastic drop in temps comes our way tomorrow with a drastic increase in rain chances, but not for everybody. We'll talk about who has the best chance for a soaking rain tomorrow and who may miss out coming up after our break. You're watching the CBS 3 News at 10 with Kristen Vaki, Sports with Kelly Hinson, and Weather with Meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS 3. I am a nurse, a firefighter, a college student, a mother, and I am an American soldier. I will always be ready for every storm and disaster that threatens my community. I will always be there to protect my neighbors, my family, and my country. We are the Army National Guard. We are the Army National Guard. We are the Army National Guard. Army National Guard. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about part-time service. Taco John's just won the Fried Chicken Sandwich Wars with a taco. Crispy chicken tenders inside a tortilla so you can taste all the flavor. More chicken, less bread, enough said. New Fried Chicken Tacos, each for just $2.49. Taco John's. Get 25% off our low Slumberland price. Incredible deals. Plus 25% off our low Slumberland price. What a sale. The 4th of July sale at Slumberland Furniture. neighbors volunteer to provide emergency services they are serving many communities and need your help challenge yourself be part of the team be somebody Duluth Detail is Duluth's premier mobile detailing service. Detailing cars, motorcycles, boats, and RVs in the Duluth Superior area and a 25-mile radius. Give them a call or check out their website today. Get your news on the go. The CBS3 mobile app. Welcome back. Last month, the U.S. had its strongest month for job growth since March. On Friday, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported the economy added 850,000 jobs in June. That's far more than economists had expected. At the same time, the unemployment rate rose 0.1% to 5.9%. And due to the global pandemic, America's labor market is still down 6.8 million jobs compared with February of 2020. And teenagers could have helped those most recent job numbers. Statistics show the number of teens in the workforce is at its highest rate since 2008. This comes after a year where there was a record low number of teens at work. Cade Overton spoke with teenage workers to find out why so many are looking to get paid. Thank you. Have a nice night. McDonald's is one food chain that hires a lot of teen workers. Um, about 50% of our staff uh, currently are high school students. With things like flexible schedules and tuition programs, they target them specifically. We're an education first employer and really work with their school schedule and all of their activities. Grace Frost is a 16 year old manager at McDonald's and says she wanted to start working at a young age so she could start preparing for her future. I wanted to make money and I wanted to get the experience of like working with other people and get those leadership skills because they're going to be really, really helpful when I graduate from high school and whatever I decide to do with my career. Frost says working as a teen can be tough, but knows she has to find a balance. It can be just with how much like you're doing during the school year. The Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development says many fast food chains and other businesses are always trying to top each other with their work styles 
so they can recruit teen workers. And we have seen some wage increases in, in some of those industries um, that attract young workers uh, due to just the competition for workers and businesses trying to you know, attract, attract the kids into their businesses. Workforce development also says that teen workers have been increasing for the last 10 years, but the post-pandemic job hunt made everything spike. Well, in the short term here, pre or post-COVID, uh, I think a lot of it is one of the opportunities are there uh, to a lot of the other events that competed for that. If they were camps or you know schooling, uh, summer schools, things like that, uh, many of those things have, have been postponed. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Our roving photographer Aaron Basil is out and about today in West Duluth. We got this image of the old forgotten stairway, or at least forgotten by many of us, to the old Longfellow School, and it sure shows the power of nature. Knocked down a building in 1959, and it overtakes fairly quickly. And with the warmer weather, well, the plants are doing quite well out there. Your gardens are just booming if only for a little more rain. And we probably will get more rain tomorrow. There's a 90% chance of it. And for two thirds of the region, it could be a soaker. But the stripe up north near the Canadian border may miss out. We'll show you the maps in just a bit. First, we show you the current conditions coming in from Duluth Airport. 75 degrees, International Airport over the hill, not KDYT. Uh, Sky Harbor on Park Point. This is over the hill, 75 degrees. 64% for the relative humidity and westerly northwest wind. It's going five miles per hour. Air pressure 29.93 inches of mercury is just one little hair over normal. We've got two lows trying to influence our way in a wetter way, and I think that's going to win tomorrow. And barometer readings will drop. Current temps, they're going to drop as well. And right now we're running 64 to 69 in the Upper Peninsula, 67 to 73 for northern Wisconsin. In the middle of the pack, Solon Springs and Superior at 70. Moose Lake's at 70 as well, but it's still 73 in two harbors. Down to 69 for Eveleth and the Quad Cities, still 73 International Falls. I think lows tonight fall into the 50s. Then high temps tomorrow have a hard time getting out of the 60s. So the heat wave is going to be crushed by a cold front coming our way. And so the sky right now over our area, not too bad except for that haze from the forest fires. But this cold front, this low pressure system, and this frontal boundary up towards our north, all coming together to bring us a 90% chance for showers and maybe some thunderstorms tomorrow as well. I don't think the thunderstorm chance is going to be that great because it's going to cool down so drastically. And so that may hamper thunderstorm development, but perhaps not rain development from the Laurentian Divide and the Iron Ranges down to the south. So from hitting at a half inch, we go to maybe an inch and a third in the Twin Ports and maybe close to two inches for Hayward. To the north, though, where folks do need rain as well, International Falls, Ely, Grand Marais may not get much of anything but a couple of dribbles. But there are more rain chances in the week ahead. When we take a look at tonight's rain chance in Minnesota. We'll put it at 10% by about 5 o'clock in the morning with low temps in the 50s. Wisconsin and Michigan, partly cloudy sky there with low temps in the 50s. Followed tomorrow by high temps running only 55 to 65. Wisconsin, Michigan gets a 90% rain chance. And Minnesota temperatures, 50s by the lake, uh, 60 to 68 inland. Oh, how the mighty temperatures have fallen so rapidly thanks to that cold front. And even when it dries up and clears up by Wednesday, it won't warm up. 65. Normal is 77. We may slowly get to that by next Sunday. And in between, Kristen, more chances for rain could come around on Friday and for Saturday. And hopefully, with that rain tomorrow taking all those pollutants out of the sky, yeah. folks who are worried about breathing easy can indeed breathe easy. That is a good point. And you know, we got our beautiful 4th of July holiday weekend. Yeah, we did. And uh, now we need some rain to soak up yeah. some of that dry weather. You always have to pay the fiddler if you want to dance. You know it, Dave. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, this 4th of July, one 11-year-old stepped up to help those who have sacrificed for our freedom. We'll have the touching story after the break. This show is about connection. Not even 2020 and socially distancing ourselves are going to get in the way of that. Woo! The Kelly Clarkson Show on CBS 3. I'm Dr. Zan Carvel. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at St. Luke's. Dealing with foot and ankle pain, it can be debilitating because these are complicated joints. And so there's different ways to manage each of these problems. Most can be treated without surgery. I'm a busy mom with two young children. We try to do things as a family that we can all enjoy. I love being part of a team 
and working as an orthopedist to help people return to athletics or getting people back on their feet so they have less pain for daily living. World-class rodeo action returns to Spooner, Wisconsin for the 67th Annual Heart of the North Rodeo, July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Some of the top cowboys and cowgirls in the United States compete for over $100,000 in prize money. Food and beverages available along with live music. Get your tickets today by calling 800-367-3306 or purchase online at SpoonerRodeo.com. July 8th, 9th, and 10th in Spooner, Wisconsin. Everybody wants to go to Spooner Rodeo. Raise your hand if you still have questions about the COVID-19 vaccines. Like, how effective are they? Who needs to get vaccinated? Once I'm vaccinated, can I travel again? You deserve real answers. Find the unbiased information you need to make an informed decision about getting your COVID-19 vaccine at dhs.wisconsin.gov slash vaccine. From DBS Repair, your local experts in all things basement D. Since 2012, we've helped thousands of cabin and homeowners in Minnesota and Wisconsin. We specialize in basement waterproofing, foundation and structural repair, concrete lifting and leveling, whole home energy, nasty crawl spaces, and basement finishing too. If you have a wet basement, moldy crawl space, or sunken concrete, our team of experts have the trusted solutions to help. Call DBS today for all things basement D. Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopo. Weekday mornings on CBS. ¿No tienes aseguranza médica? ¿Por qué eres tu propio empleado? ¿Eres empleado de una compañía pequeña? ¿Trabajas medio tiempo? ¿Perdiste tu trabajo? ¿O te estás retirando? Buenas noticias. Minsure tiene un periodo especial de inscripción hasta el 16 de julio del 2021. Visita www.insuredeluth.org slash ayuda para mayor información hoy. Obtén aseguranza médica económica escogiendo MeanSure. Pre-order your 2022 Bennington Pond Tune at RJ Sport and Cycle. If it's important to our nation, the country is facing yet another unprecedented crisis. It's on Face the Nation, making politics make sense. The why behind the biggest stories. Face the Nation on CBS. CBS 3 Sports is brought to you by St. Luke's. The 4th of July is about celebrating America's independence and freedom. And as we know, that freedom doesn't come free. And that's something 11-year-old Michael Ahern recognizes. And this Independence Day, he wanted to give back. Michael developed a relationship with Sergeant Travis Mills, who lost both arms and legs in Afghanistan and wanted to help his foundation, which allows recalibrated veterans to enjoy an action-packed vacation with their families. So the 11-year-old founded Scoops for Troops and donated $400 to the foundation, but he did not stop there. Michael raised a total of $31,000 for the Travis Mills Foundation. He's going to help a lot of families with his um, donations and these funds. We're going to bring them out, show them that, you know, hey, life goes on. Don't live life on the sidelines. Be active in your community. Be active in your society. And to always love the motto of never give up, never quit. And that wouldn't be possible without people out there like Michael and his family. So, again, so grateful, humbled, really, and um, just all around excited for the future. Well, speaking of the future, Michael has no plans of slowing down and has some sweet goals for scoops for troops. I'm always so incredibly impressed with these young kids who come up with these great ideas to help people out. Yes, I think sometimes the younger ones actually end up teaching us older folks. That is a some very of the better good wisdom. Point. Yes. I don't know. That was super, super sweet. Yeah, that was great. Way to go, Michael. What's going on in sports? Oh, a little bit of everything, a lot of baseball, though. But Huskies celebrated the fourth with a win between the Honkers yesterday, but can they do it again? And a Northland superstar crosses the finish line fast enough to bring home his school's first ever state title. I will reel in sports next. You need fast, reliable internet, but it's not a one-size-fits-all world. At Mediacom, we have a price and plan for everyone. You can get our starting internet service for $19.99 a month for a year. And with that comes a great deal of speed. We're talking 60 meg. Because unlike other providers, we want you to have fast internet from the start. Extreme speeds go up to 1 gig with lots of options to choose from. So let's talk. Call us today at 844-EXTREME2. 
Hi, I'm Dr. John Bolins. And I'm Ann Nolette. And we're Advanced Surgical Associates of Northern Minnesota. Our goal has always been to provide the latest and best surgical techniques to you and your family. We want to provide an alternative to the traditional surgical practices that the hospitals offer. With robotic assisted surgery, you're likely to have a shorter hospital stay, experience less pain, and recover quicker. We serve Duluth, Ely, Hibbing, and the surrounding areas. Learn more at mnsurgery.com or give us a call today. If you're worried about spoiling your dinner with any of our dollar sliders from 2 to 5 p.m. at Arby's, do what I do. Order a dollar shake to take your mind off it. Arby's, we have the meat. Hi, folks. Joe Namath here, and if you're on Medicare, this is important. You're now entitled to eliminate co-pays and get dental care, dentures, eyeglasses, prescription coverage, in-home aids, unlimited transportation, and home-delivered meals, all at no additional cost. Plus, your zip code may have coverage with a give-back benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. Look, with the uncertainty of the virus and vaccines, you need to get everything you're entitled to. Here's the bottom line. Call to get significant benefits at no additional cost and see if your zip code has coverage with the give back benefit. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare coverage helpline. You can too. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-916-5591. That's 1-800-916-5591 now. It's always a good day for a car wash at Miller Mall Car Wash. But just to be safe, watch Caitlin's Car Wash Forecast. Weekday mornings on CBS 3 This Morning with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. Sponsored by Miller Mall Car Wash. Only on live, local CBS 3. Hi, Gail King here inviting you to join us every morning right here on CBS. We'll have the important stories and the interviews, all the news that matters really, and best of all, we'll have a good time together. We like to do that. And now you can find us anytime you want on the new Paramount Plus app. So we'll see you every morning right here on CBS. I thought that one was pretty good. <laughs> The Huskies sent the fans home happy before the fireworks in Duluth last night with a win over the Rochester Honkers. They were looking to complete the clean two-game sweep tonight at Wade Stadium. Duluth got right into it. In the bottom of the first, Case and Tullett grounds to second, but it's enough to score Charlie Rear. 1-0 Huskies. Up next at the plate, their hottest hitter this season, Amber and Vodic, finds a seam down the right field line. Two runs come in, 3-0 Duluth after one. They would add another in the third, but the Honkers would snap back, winning 8-5. to five. For the first time since 2019, the Twins welcomed back 100% of their fans. They hope to celebrate with a win against the Chicago White Sox. Bottom second, man on, and Max Kepler is on his game. He sends this one through first-class mail, way out of play for a two-run home run. Twins take early ride. Jose Abreu says he wants some of this. It's two in the bottom and he gets out at home he would come in for the run it's the brewers right here let's pause top of four no score omar navias drills one home and fast forward to seven it's a tie game Pete alonzo lines to left francisco linder would come on home his tail is dom smith who tallies another Mets snag the lead 3-1 along with Alonzo's two-run double. He would be on third with one out, a big old snap to right from Michael Confronto. Alonzo easily tacks on a fourth. The Brewer are able to bring their score to two, but aren't able to take the dub. NYC seals the deal 4-2. A Cinderella story in the Northland. I had the privilege of witnessing the magical story unfold. <laughs> A superstar erupts out of Solon Springs. Meet Callan Listen. Oh, we're just here just to see what we can do and just prove that small schools can do anything. A basketball player, a cross-country competitor, and now a rookie track star on a mission. Most would consider him to be a triple threat in the world of athletics, and most recently, Listen is recognized for the addition of a remarkable accomplishment to his resume. 
cherry on the cake. He went to state, and we were so thrilled his senior year going to state. And now he proved that he is a state champion. A state champion, a phrase that Solon Springs High School has never heard of until now. It feels amazing. It's like, it's so unreal. Like, it doesn't feel like any of it's real. It's like, it's like I just showed up and ran, and now I'm here, and it's like, it's weird. Like, it's just, it just flies by. The unreal part of Listen's story isn't just about his historic title, but the road that led him to his historic victory. Last year, I was like, you know, I was like, I'm just going to do track because I don't play baseball or anything. So I'm like, I might as well just give it a shot and try it and just see how I do. And it sounds like fun. I knew I was like decent at sprinting. And then so then I was like, oh, I'll just sign up. And I signed up last year, but it never happened because of COVID. So then this year I was like, all right, I got to do it, you know, and, and just see what happens. And it ended up being great. So A great season would be an understatement as this was Listen's first track season ever, where he captured not only his first state title, but Solon Springs' first title in school history, wiping two whole seconds off of his PR in his final race. The Solon Springs track team has only been around for three years, with just 10 student athletes and a baseball field to practice on. The Eagles show there is no challenge too big for a small school. It's just crazy how like such a small school can do like just these crazy things like no one has ever expected. Callan will be crossing the bridge next fall to attend UMD with the hopes of bringing his talents to Bulldog Country on the track and on the basketball courts. And that's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. During the 4th of July mattress sale at Home Sleep Express, get $500 off Tempur-Pedic Breeze mattresses, plus no money down, six-year special financing on any Tempur-Pedic, with free delivery, setup, and a 120-day guarantee. Tempur-Pedic, now at Home Sleep Express. Keep your outdoor living space beautiful and protected with Menards. Provide your exterior wood surfaces advanced protection from sunlight and moisture with Pittsburgh paints and stains. Right now, all Paramount exterior stains are 11% off. Transform your deck in one day with Rock Solid Deck Resurfacer. The one coat coverage ultra thick coating is specially designed for heavily worn decks and patios. Save 11% on all Rock Solid Deck Resurfacers now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. When building, you hire a team of specialists to ensure your house turns out exactly as you imagined. Major financial transitions like retirement deserve the same level of care and craftsmanship. At MPPL Financial, we assemble a diverse team of experts to develop a plan to ensure you only have to retire once. Call today for your free second opinion consultation so your retirement turns out exactly as you imagined. MPPL Financial. Answers to the most important questions of your life. At Super One Foods, we're always looking for new talent to join our five-star service team. We are a growing family-owned company that provides opportunities to learn new skills and enhance your working knowledge while serving your friends and neighbors. From flexible scheduling and variety in jobs to competitive wages and exceptional benefits, Super One Foods offers an excellent environment to grow both personally and professionally and can provide you with the foundation for career advancement in the communities we serve. Come join our team, Super One Foods. Jobs right in your neighborhood. Hello from DBS Repair, your local experts in all things basement D. Since 2012, we've helped thousands of cabin and homeowners in Minnesota and Wisconsin. We specialize in basement waterproofing, foundation and structural repair, concrete lifting and leveling, whole home energy, nasty crawl spaces, and basement finishing too. If you have a wet basement, moldy crawl space, or sunken concrete, our team of experts have the trusted solutions to help. Call DBS today for all things basement D. Home Sleep Express presents Casper Mattresses. You'll love your tomorrow when you sleep on a Casper tonight. Now get 15% off any Casper mattress, plus no money down, six-year special financing. Casper Mattresses, now at Home Sleep Express. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Dave, I stepped outside around 9 o'clock, 9.30-ish mm -hmm. tonight. Still very, very warm out there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm glad you made it back in time for the I did. I did. I there's so many things here at Canal Park, it's tempting to just wander away. <laughs> you know, the warm temperatures will wander away by tomorrow. A cold front coming through with a low pressure system creates a 90% chance for rain starting early in the morning tomorrow and lasting through the evening on Tuesday. And it means 
up to an inch of rain for some towns south of the Iron Ranges. North of the ranges, it may be a lot less than that, but boy, the temperatures will drop to 60. For Wednesday, we only push back up to 65, even though we dry up and clear up. Thursday, 70, another rain chance Friday, Saturday, followed by sunshine and perfectly normal conditions on Sunday. That may really be the day for folks to get out and enjoy our summer. Grab your raincoat tomorrow. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. We'll see you then.